Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where don't worry, this is yesterday's puzzle. Um, and I've been asked to open today's puzzle uh, live on the webcam, which is always exciting for me and causes me somewhat uh, a bit of trepidation. Um, but Mark, uh, it's actually Mark, not the testers, who've suggested I do this today. Um, I make of that what you will. Um, but here we go. Let's see what's happening. Um, what by Michael Lefkowitz. Lefkowitz. Michael Lefkowitz. I know. I know Michael's name. Juggler is a six by six today. Um, dot dot dot. What question mark? Um, okay. Well, this is the puzzle. It looks remarkably normal. Uh, let's read the rules together. Um, in fact, in fact, before I read you the rules. Do I have anything to tell you about? I don't have any birthdays to do today. Um, so just a normal appeal. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Um, over our Patreon pages, we've got uh, loads of extra content, including, of course, our James Bond monthly reward, um, Sudoku Hunt, which many, many, many of you have been enjoying. But but with that said and done, that's, that's all the news. Let's just have a look at what the rules are to Michael's puzzle. They are as follows. Normal six by six Sudoku rules apply. Um, so that means we've got to put the digits one to six once each in every row, in every column, and in every sort of rectangular box. Uh, each digit in a circle indicates how many times that digit appears in a circle in the puzzle. So if that square there was a... Uh, well, there's actually only, there's only two circles. So that rule seems a bit odd. Um, I don't really want to do that because that's going to be solving the puzzle. Um, so what that means, well, I mean, let's just, I mean, let's put an, a, a, the wrong number in there. If that was a five, that would mean five circles in the puzzle have to contain the digit five. Um, so that's not, you can you can see what that number is going to be, but sorry about that. Um, digits strictly never, digits strictly never appear more than once in a cage. That's really, really strangely worded. Did digits strictly never appear more than once in a cage? I mean, they could never have appeared more than once in a cage. There's something weird about this puzzle because that's a 16 cage, but obviously it's in a straight line, so it could never have had more than one digit in it. Um, did cells separated by an X sum to 10, not all possible Xs are given. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, this is this is weird. This I almost think the rules are wrong. I mean, that could be viewed as an X, but that's that, that's the arrows for the circles, and there are no other. There are no not all possible. <laughs> there are no X's in the puzzle. Gray lines are palindromes. I digits equidistant from a gray line center are always the same. Um, there are. Yeah, this is this is. This is Bobbins. <laughs> this is absolute. These are all the rules. Do not forget any of them. Right. There's okay. Yeah. There's something very strange about this puzzle because that rule set doesn't seem to apply to the puzzle at all. There's no thermometer rule. There was no rule about arrows. There was no quadruple rule. There was no rule explaining what this four in a black dot is doing. So. I think what's happening here is we're meant to be. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is very clever. This is very clever. I think what this is doing is playing on our assumptions. I like this very much if this is the idea. So I think what this is doing is it's saying, you've done so many Sudoku, Simon that you expect this to be an arrow. So in an arrow Sudoku, if this was one, two, and three, we would write six into here, um, being the sum of the digits along the arrow. But I think what's happening, you know, in this thermometer, we'd have to increase from the bulb end. The digits would increase from the bulb end. And this little congregation of digits would have to include threes and fours two threes and two fours. But I think what actually what we actually have to do here is that each digit in a circle indicates how many times that digit appears in a circle. 
Yeah, that that's why these are not the but these are not the only circles. So I was thinking we were going to have to do that, and I think now we might not have to do that. We might have to include. Well, I wonder if we have to include that circle and. Oh, this is this is quite wonderful if this is right. Hang on, let me just read the rule. Digits strictly never appear more than once in a cage. You see, is that saying that the 16 cage... Yeah, there's no rule that says digits in a cage sum to the number in the top left corner. So I think what this is saying is that 1 and 6 don't appear. Oh, this, hang on, I've just got discombobulated again because I've realised I've started solving it and I didn't say have a go at the puzzle because I didn't, the puzzle is the rule. <laughs> this is the first time ever I've not said before I've started solving it. Um, yeah, I must stop. If you want to have a go at the puzzle, um, click the link under the video as usual but now I get to play let's get cracking because I think the puzzle here is the rules so I think what's happening is that digits strictly never appear more than once in a cage so it's saying that the one and the six have appeared in this cage so they're not allowed to I couldn't do that for example so I think that those are a one and a six I think um Digits separated by an X sum to 10. So those squares have to be 4 and 6 because of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The only way you can make two different numbers add to 10 is if they're 4 and 6. Great. Yeah, okay. Gray lines are palindromes. Yes, so what we're, this might be why the graphics are like this. You see this, there's a circle underneath this, this bulb. I think that is how thermometers appear at the moment though. So I think that circle is for, is for the circles rules, Whoa, which I can't really highlight all of them. And this grey line is a palindrome, which means those two digits are the same and these two digits are the same. And this, this grey line, oh, I'm not sure whether, I'm not sure whether I'm meant, to, well, yeah, that, that's interesting actually. So, see there's a grey line which, which looks like it's trying to be arrows. I think this is a palindrome line, but I'm not, probably, maybe it goes in there. I don't know, it seems to, it seems to go into this square, but that's probably just juggler playing with our assumptions. Um, right, so let's actually count how many circles there are in this puzzle. So this circle, this black circle. Oh, I tell you what would be even cleverer. Hang on, hang on, we must do this first. Does this puzzle solve if you um, if you treat the rules? Uh, if I make the assumption that the rules are normal. So if I make the assumption that this is a quadruple clue and write threes and fours into those squares, five, six, yeah, the, the, you see, that's really interesting. I uh, know that doesn't work. Right. Okay. So, th so the puzzle doesn't solve because what I was thinking was, um, I was thinking I could make that thermometer work and I can, I can, because, um, obviously the, the minimum this, well, how do, how do we do this? This square here, is the third cell along the thermometer, but it can't be a three or a four, so that would have to be a five. So that's a six. This can't be a three or a four, so it'd have to be a two and a one. But now five and six in this column, well, in this box actually, have to go into those squares, but that square is not allowed to be a five or a six because it would have to be a three or a four. So the puzzle doesn't solve if you, if you assume that the rules are, um, normal let's call it that so so we do have we just have to basically throw out of the window everything that we would normally assume about sudoku with these graphics and really strictly obey the rules so what that means is let's count the literally count all the circles one two three four five six seven so there are seven circles but one of those circles has got four digits in it. 
Yeah, okay. So look, there there are four... That, well, because the four has appeared in a circle, there should be four fours in circles, and there are three fours in circles at the moment. There are two threes in circles, but there need to be three threes in circles. So, of the other circles, one, two, three, four, five, two of these are taken. Right, so two of these are going to be taken up with the third three and the th and the fourth four, and that leaves three circles which can't contain threes or fours or anything. So they must be a two twos and a one. Yes. Okay. And that's rather pretty. So, so in fact, I, I can see something from there. But what I'm going to do is actually just label all of these, um, all of the circles, ones, twos, threes, and fours. Now, now there are a number of things that are suddenly popping out at me here. Those can't be ones because they see one and six. This is a palindrome, so that's got to be one, two, three, or four. These can't these can't be ones on the end of the palindrome because if both of the because both of these squares are the same because it's a palindrome, not a thermometer. So if both of those were ones, this one six pair couldn't exist. So they are not. They are twos, threes, and fours now. Now this line is a palindrome line. So the only question here the only question here is are we allowed to I think the palindrome does does go into this cell. I can see it going into this cell. So I'm going to assume and if this get if this breaks down We'll, we'll abandon it and, and take the other assumption. This, this is one end of the palindrome. This is the other end of the palindrome. So they should be the same digit, I think. And then that digit is then that digit. This digit is then this digit. So now I've got a four six pair in this box. So that's not four. There's a four six pair in this row, so that's not four. That's a palindrome. So this is now, this is now only two or three. Oh, ah, no, no, this is it's much easier than this. It's much easier than this. Oh, this is a beautiful point. This is a beautiful point. Right, we worked out that two circles contain a two. And two is the only digit that's repeated in a circle. Because there's going to be one circle with a one, one circle, one more circle with a three, and one more circle with a four. Now, because this is on a palindrome, these two circles will always contain the same digit. So they must contain the only digit that has to appear newly in circles twice, which is two. So these are two. That's... <laughs> And that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, losing its religion. Um, oh, I very, very much approve of this. This is this is really, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. Right now, twos have appeared as many times in circles as they are, are allowed to appear. Three has made its third appearance in a circle. It's twice in that one, once in that one. So it doesn't appear in that one. So that's a one. That's a one by Sudoku. So that's a one. That's a six. 3 has appeared in a circle, so it's not allowed to appear again in a circle. That's a 3, that's a 5. This is, it is comical. That's a 4, that's a 6, that's a 6, that's a 1. That's a 3, that's a 3. Oh, th I mean, it's just filling itself in. I'm not having to do anything here. That's a 1, that's a 6. Um, oh, okay, these are 2 and 5. We don't. Uh, we have got some knowledge about fives, actually. So maybe I was suddenly thinking then. Maybe this is not the fives aren't resolved, but maybe it's fine. Let's just keep going. That's two. That's five. That's four. That's five. No, it seems fine. That's two. Those are five and six. 
this is what about there oh these are palindromes as well so that digit by sudoku has to be down there so those are fours that's lovely that's two that's five that's one that's two ah uh, uh, that's five that's strange because that's not resolved that is a classic deadly pattern so i've missed something in the rules or i've made a mistake uh, which is slightly terrifying let's just read the rules again each digit in a circle those digits have nothing to do with circles they have nothing to do with cages Ah, they might have something to do with not all possible x's are given that would be oh uh, that's going to be it right hang on i'm just going to keep reading the rules though gray lines are palindromes uh, they have nothing to do with that those are all the rules do not forget any of them well i'm trying not to forget any of them right so here's my idea for how this might resolve so because we have to we have to obey the rules to the letter there's a there's a clue that says or a rule that says cells separated by an x sum to 10 and that, therefore we put a 6 and a 4 across this x here it then says not all possible x's are given well as i'm scanning this grid here i am not noticing any other possible x's that have not been given so in order for not all possible x's to be given for that statement to be exactly true well could i make that a six because if i make that a six rather than this being let's in fact let's do it the wrong way let's do it that way and stare at the grid now there needs to be a six four pair in this grid that is not x'd for this for this rule set to be utterly correct and I don't think there is but if I switch these round the other way now there is no x there and there is no x there so not all possible x's are given is absolutely correct oh that's absolutely brilliant is it right yes oh come on oh you solved the puzzle I'm so sorry <laughs> You should be. You naughty, naughty constructor. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Uh, it won't, imagine if you came to this video uh, and you'd never seen Variant Sudoku. You will... This video will make no sense. <laughs> it will make no sense. It only makes sense if you know, if you, if you, if you have expectations going into it and if you have those expectations it will blow them out of the water that is just that's a phenomenal idea michael again one of the most original constructors in the world i loved it let me know in the comments how you got on there's going to be i think there might be some people who are just angry <laughs> don't be angry just be admiring um and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic